and the morality tale. A tale of great moral fiber, which, if you heed the warnings, should help you grow as a person. We don't want to read that. <laughs> My mom's going to find more of that. Well, then, you can use this as the alternate, or you can do exactly the opposite. Ah, and excellent. Very good. Yeah. And therefore... Yes. yes. Almost. Uh, almost. <laughs> I need to learn from your wisdom. For examples are just bad examples. They can be either good or bad. So, I shall play you the tale of an example, rather. There once was a merchant. He went to a fair, and the very last day of the fair, he found he had done very well, and very early in the morning, he had sold off the very last of his wares. And he looked at where the sun was sitting in the sky, and he thought to himself, if I pack up all my money and ride quickly on my horse as quickly as I may, I can sleep in my own bed tonight. And as we all know, when one is traveling, sometimes it is nice to go home a day early and sleep in one's own bed. So he packed up all of his learnings onto his, into his saddlebags, and they were very heavy, hoisted him up onto his horse, and left his servants to pack the uh, tables and tents and stuff, such in the wagon, to fall warm before the leisurely pace. He then got on his horse and rode off quite briskly. And as he rode along, the horse began to get tired. He saw an end, and he stopped to rest his horse for a few moments. And he told the stable boy, well, I am in great, great haste. Quickly water and brush down the horse, walk it around a little bit, cool it down. I shall go to the end and have a swath of the wine, but I am in great haste. I must ride as fast as I can so I may make it on the horse coming down before the bandits come out of the woods and the road becomes unsafe. So he had his glass of wine, and he comes out, and he says to the stable boy, Stable boy, bring my, my horse, my horse, it should be ready now. And the stable boy brings out the horse, well, I've watered your horse and brushed it down, and it's cooled down, but there's just one small problem. There's a, a loose nail on, the, on one of the horseshoes. If you'd also allow me ten minutes, I can take it to a blacksmith down the street. He can have it fixed, and it won't cost you but a copper or so. No, 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 I'm in too much of a hurry for this. The, the sun is already... Halfway across the sky, I must get on my way. If the nail is held this long, it will hold till the end of the day. And he jumps up on his horse, and he rides off at a very quick pace. Later on in the afternoon, again, he has to rest his horse, and the horse needs some food and water. He stops at another end along the way, and he gets off the horse, and he tells the stable boy, Stable boy, come quickly, quickly, attend to my horse. And I'm in great haste, and I, I must reach home before the sun sets in the sky, and I look how far it is in the lower, on the horizon. I must. I'm in great haste. Brush the horse down quickly, cool him down, give him some water and some oats, and I will be out shortly. Just do this as quickly as you can. So he goes into the inn and has a cup of wine, and when he comes back out, he's surely the stable boy will be done with the horse by now. The stable boy brings the horse out and says, Well, I watered and fed the horse and brushed him down. He's cooled down. But there's just one small problem. There's a nail missing out of the horseshoe, and it's quite loose. Just let me run down to the... Uh, Blacksmith down the road here. It won't take but a half hour. He can take that shoe off and reshoe the horse, and I'll be much safer. No, 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 no. I'm much too much of a hurry. Look how low the sun is in the horizon. I must be on my way. The, the bandits will come out of the wood. The road will be unsafe. I must make it home before sunset. But my lord, if, if you ride this horse any further on this, this shoe, it could go lame and you may, might lose the horse. No, 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 no. I'm in too much of a hurry. If the, the horse shoe is held until now, it will hold till the end of the day. And he gets up and he goes riding along on his horse at a very quick pace. Now, as he is riding along, he's getting further and further out into the countryside and further and further away from the big city where the fair was held. And the roads, of course, get worse and worse. And it becomes an area where there are large rocks and potholes in the road. And the horse does, as both the state boys predicted, end up losing the shield going away. So he is standing here in the middle of the road. The sun is going down. At this point... The, the woods aren't even cleared back, half a bow shot from the road. He's looking around, he's, he says, well, then I can walk the horse. And he begins trying to walk the horse, and the horse is just stumbling because of the huge weight of the saddlebags full of coins. Well, now he's in quite a point. The, the horse cannot go any further, so he, he's like, well, if I take the saddlebags and leave the horse, surely the bandits will have taken the horse by the time I get back, and I can't leave the saddlebags here because they will find those also. So he ends up packing the heavy saddlebags on, on his shoulders and limping home, and he leaves the horse behind. And for the price of a small copper, or maybe it's just a couple of coppers that have the horse replaced, he ends up losing the horse, arriving home way too late to have any rest of his own bed. 
We arrived very late, very foot sore, well after sunset. And the moral of the story is, when you must make haste, do so slowly. Mm -hmm.